Okay, well, good, good evening, everybody. This is Cleta Colson Ayer, and I am a future executive sales director in Mary Kay. And I just want to come on here tonight and just share a little bit of my Mary Kay story with all of you. And, you know, when you hear stories of other people, sometimes you think, well, shoot, if she could do it, maybe I could do it. So that's kind of what my goal is tonight is just to share a little bit about how I have ran and run my Mary Kay business in the last. 33 years. My anniversary with Mary Kay is actually this week. 33 years ago, I signed my Mary Kay agreement. And so I'm going to just tell you a little bit about that and a little bit about how maybe it would, might would fit into your life and what benefit it might be to you. And so I want to thank all of you that called in tonight, and those of you who are there that are actually watching live on the video. And just um, I want to just say at the beginning, to make sure when the video is over or the call is over that you text your consultant that invited you to get on the call so that she will know that you were on there for the whole time because she may have promised you something free for dialing in. And if she didn't, you tell her that I said that you're supposed to get something. <laughs> so, you know, get for you giving us your time tonight. So anyway, to just, just to get right in it and just to tell you a little bit, um, first of all, in my background, in, if you were watching through video, you can see a bunch of Mary Kay products. And this is some of my inventory back here, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And um, one of the things that attracted me the most about Mary Kay was the actual products and how great they are. So I'm going to tell you how all of that began. Um, first of all, I had heard about Mary Kay really my whole entire life. Believe it or not, my grandmother and my aunt sold Mary Kay back in the 60s. Mary Kay, the company, started in 1963, and my aunt and my grandmother started, I believe it was like 67, um, 68, it was in the 60s, and so I always knew about Mary Kay. I knew about the pink jars, and I knew about the pink cars, <laughs> and my mom used Mary Kay, my grandma used Mary Kay, and I went to college, and I, I had tried some of the Mary Kay products. I had tried the Mary Kay lip gloss. Um, back then, it was in a pink tube, and it tasted as good as it smelled, <laughs> and it was called Natural and then there was one called Pearl, and I wore the Pearl. And that's about the extent of, you know, my glamour for um, college. I did not, I was not one of these that were, that really knew a lot about makeup. I didn't, I did put on makeup every day because I am a Southern girl. And, you know, my mom always told me to get up, take a shower, get dressed, and put on your makeup. And then, you know, if I ever told her I was sick, she goes, and then if you still feel sick, you don't have to go to school. But after we did all that, we might as well go to school, right? So I did always wear makeup, but um, I just really didn't know a lot about it. And just not that, what I guess what you would consider that type of someone that sells makeup, you know, uh, really girly girl. Um, I was more of an athlete. I played basketball in college, well, in high school and in college, and um, just loved all sports and you know, from softball to basketball to volleyball. I mean, ran track. Uh, I didn't love track. But anyway, <laughs> I was more that kind of a girl, just to give you my background. My major in college was in business, and I got a degree in computers. And so I was working. My very first job was at Harding University, and it was in Arkansas, and it's from the university that I graduated from. So I took my first job there, and it had pretty good benefits, but the wage was pretty low. It was only just a little bit more than minimum wage, you guys. So I was making $4.05 an hour and with a college degree, <laughs> but I had a great title. It was called Administrative Computer Center operator. And so my job was to manage all of the big mainframe computers and uh, keep everybody online. And so my friend Sandra Bowes, who worked at the same university that I did, she offered me a Mary Kay facial to have a facial to come to her house. And so it took her many months to convince me for whatever reason. I just thought this is not for me. But finally, you know what? I said, okay, okay, Sandra, I'll go. And so some of my consultants on here, I know that you might be like me, and it took somebody a while to get you to even try the products. But I went to her house, and I had a facial, and you guys, that product cleared my face up within just a couple of weeks. I was very oily and broken out, but I love the way it felt on my skin. And I was like, wow, I was just impressed, and I was surprised that I even liked it. I did not even bring money with me. I thought, I'm not even bringing my money because I know I'm not going to like it, and I know I'm not going to buy it. And plus, I was broke, so I really couldn't afford it. But somehow, she let me, she had a, a shelf full of product, like I do behind me, and she 
put her a skincare set in a bag and she brought it out to me and said, here, use this. You can pay me $20 a week for three weeks because she knew where I worked. And so that's what I did. I went home that night and used the products. I was very loyal to use the products. Um, I mean, like from that moment on, every single night I washed my face before I went to bed. She taught me how to, to take care of my skin. And so a couple of months later, I needed some um, more products and I really wanted some of the glamour products because I just love skincare. And so I decided to do a party for her. And I actually had a little party. I had a one bedroom apartment. I think it was about a 600 feet square foot apartment. Maybe, maybe even. There's only two rooms, bedroom and then the kitchen living room. <laughs> and so I had five of my girlfriends come over plus me and I had a Mary Kay party. And they all bought products from the lady, from Sandra. And three of the girls said that they would do a party, that they would be a hostess. And I was like, wow, here are my broke girlfriends are going to buy Mary Kay too, just like me. Of course, I was sitting there selling. I'm like, y'all, this is so good. Y'all are going to love this product. I mean, it cleared my face up. Look how good my face looks. <laughs> and I was just enthusiastic about this product. And so it was after that that my mother, I was telling her about it. She was in Georgia. And I was in Arkansas, and she said, you know, Cleta, you ought to think about possibly selling Mary Kay. She said, that would give you some extra money, and you could do it on the side. And I thought, I mean, honestly, I never thought about it before. Never in a million years did I think I would be a consultant that sells glamour products and skincare. You know, um, so after I talked to her about it, um, she got me to go to a sales meeting with her. And I ended up going to Little Rock, Arkansas. And it was about an hour from where we lived to a sales meeting with her and her husband. And at the time I was a newlywed, my husband went and we, they went and played basketball and me and Sandra went to the Mary Kay meeting and I went there and um, it was uh, at the director's house and they had potluck. And as a young woman, I was 22, just turned 23. Um, and you know, my cooking skills were very uh, slim and they still are <laughs> after all these years. So I thought, oh, free food, I'm in. So they had food. Everybody were, was in business suits, like a skirt and a jacket and heels. And I thought, huh, these ladies are sharp. And that was all ages from, from women my age in their 20s to women in their 70s. And, but they were all like friends and they had their own businesses and they started talking about how much people made that week. And I, I'm just gotta tell you, I was impressed. And they talked about the priorities in the company being where you put God first and your family second and your career third. And I knew that um, at some point I would want to have children and my, I wanted to have a job that maybe I would not have to have a full-time job and I could just work, um, do Mary Kay, you know, and stay home with my kids. And so that was my first start in Mary Kay. I thought, I'm doing this. So I got home, I figured out how to get some money because uh, I didn't have any money to even buy the little kit that it takes to get in. And it was, it's only a hundred dollars to join Mary Kay. And I didn't even have that. And so I, um, and that gets you, matter of fact, it's called a starter kit. And that hundred dollars gets you over $400 worth of products and materials to start your business. It's everything you need to do facials because you got to have some supplies. And so um, I didn't have any money. Like, I really literally only made $130 a week when they took everything out of my paycheck. That's all I had. So I thought, well, I got to figure that out. So I ended up, you guys, my parents had given me a car to drive and it was paid off through college and they sent me the title that next day. And I looked at that as a sign. Do y'all ever, ever have things that happen and you're like, well, that's my sign. I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> so that's how I looked at it is that's my sign. So I took that car title and I went to the bank. Mary Kay at the time did not take credit cards. It was cashier's check only. And so I went to the bank and I got myself a little loan to get some products to sell and to get the money for my Mary Kay starter kit. And that is, um, you know, they, they say that the rest is history and that's my story. That's her story instead of his story. Right. And so I want to tell you about a couple of my proud moments in Mary Kay once I got my kid in. One of the things that I, I guess it's because I had been in college, I felt like that I was a good student. My Mary Kay director told me that I needed to um, book eight parties and hold five in my first two weeks. And I said, well, what, how am I going to get trained? When's training? And she said, oh, you know, we'll get it. And um, 
I said, well, what if my kit doesn't come in in time? They go, we'll loan you ours. I'm like, all right. So, I mean, really, I just thought well, that's what they said to do. That's what I did. So I got, I uh, booked my eight parties and I, my kit came in on a Monday and my first party was Tuesday night. And I can, I can remember it like it was yesterday, you guys. I mean, think about this 33 years ago this week. I got that kit and that night they had a little cassette tape in there <laughs> and I listened to that little cassette tape and it said skincare class and I listened to it about three times and it had a flip chart and I went over and over and over with it and I thought all right and so my consultant that signed me up said do you want me to do it with you and I said no I'll do it by myself I'm fine and um, I did about a four-hour party which they should only take an hour and I sold $23.50 <laughs> so I probably should have let her help me, right? Well, you know what? It's still when I divided it, you know, it was probably more than I made at my regular job per hour. But the good thing was I had seven more parties booked. So I held another party that next day or two days later. I did a lot better and I sold um, every single person the skincare set. And it was with women I did not think would buy anything. It was all my like computer center friend, computer center programmer friends that none of them wore makeup. Like they did not wear any eyeshadow, mascara, nothing, but they all bought the skincare. And then I did another party that week. And so, um, my first proud moment in Mary Kay was when I went to the sales meeting and I was the queen of sales for the week. Woohoo! And so they put a crown on my head. I think they even gave me a boa <laughs> and, um, everybody bowed to me and I was like, are you kidding me? I love my Mary Kay. I mean, it only took a week for me to decide. That was one of my proudest moments that for the very first week. And I, I sold $400. And it doesn't sound like a lot to you guys probably, but to me, it was a lot more than I got paid every week. It was more than my full-time job. And so I loved doing the parties. I love selling the product because it was fun. I knew the product was good. And my customers liked the fact that I could give it to them right when I had the party. And they started reordering for me. So then my weeks got bigger because not only would I have my parties, you know, two or three, four hundred dollars out of for my parties, but then I would also have a couple hundred dollars of reorders. So my weeks started end up being six hundred dollar weeks every week. And we make 50% of what we sell. And I was like, this is a good, I, I really was thinking, I remember one time I came home and I thought, I cannot believe I just made this much money. I just couldn't believe it. I had a money bag full of money and it was more than my 40 hour job and a lot more fun, a lot more fun. And it wasn't a one-time sale because when their cleansing ran out, they called and got, got some more because it's a consumable product. So I was thinking, why isn't everybody doing this? It's like the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> and you know what? Probably my uh, background in athletics, uh, competition, I like to win. And like if there was a challenge, whatever it was, I would go for it because I wanted to win. So my second um, proud moment in Mary Kay was my first seminar in Dallas, Texas. I went to Dallas, Texas, it was my very first seminar. And I was uh, crowned the queen of sales for my unit for the whole year. And I got a little plaque that had my name on it and a watch. And I was so excited. And I could not believe how big Mary Kay was. I mean, like when I got there, I'm like, wow. I mean, there was probably at the time, maybe, I don't know, 5,000 people at seminar. But to me, it looked like 100,000. And, and then that, when I saw like the queen's chair and the diamond rings and really what you could do in Mary Kay, I'm like, okay. This is not like piddly. This is like a big deal. And I got to meet the woman, Mary Kay Ash. And I really thought this is probably going to be some little granny in a rocking chair on stage, which is so funny because y'all, she's probably only 50, which is my age now. But she was powerful and she, she was little, but she was mighty. And like you just like when she spoke it was so inspirational and she's funny. And yet she is very business minded. And so when I met her and heard her story of how she started this company for women so that to enrich women's lives, cause she kept getting like, um, like she was working for another company and every time she trained a man, they would promote the man to be her boss after a year after she trained him. And it was just unfair. And back in the sixties, she's like, she wanted a company that can make women feel good on the inside and then, um, look good on the outside and that they would be treated and rewarded for their abilities, not because of their man or a woman. So she's probably one of the first women's rights woman, right? Um, but so seminar was amazing. And then 
another proud moment was when I won my very first car with Mary Kay. I had been driving the car my parents gave me in high school, I mean in college, for eight years, and it had had, it was like a Ford Escort wagon, and it wasn't cool at all. Um, like you guys might have a Ford Escort wagon, I don't know if they even make them, but this was eight years old. It had almost like 250,000 miles, I don't even know, and um, it was just, it had had it. Like, it was not electric windows, it was, it was old. <laughs> And so when I won my very first car in Mary Kay, it was a red Grand Am. And I remember going to the dealership and I thought, I have died and gone to heaven, that I had to go in there. I just signed two pieces of paper and they gave me keys to the car. And like, I didn't have any car payments. They, they paid all the car payments, your title tag, and 80, about 83% of the insurance. And so I, I'm just like, can this get any better? Well, my next proud moment was right after that, I became a sales director at Mary Kay, and I formed a team. And at the time, you had to have 30 women, and I had a team of 30 women that I had recruited or someone in my team had recruited, and we became our own unit. And my unit was called Cletus Cruising Cadillacs. <laughs> now it's called Cletus Cheetahs. I don't think it rhymes there, but um, it was so much fun. And so a free car, I had my own unit, and guess what? I quit my job. I was working at that time. I'd moved back to Georgia. I was working for my dad as a computer operator for a printing company, and I went in and I said, I'm done, and I'm going to do my Mary Kay. And um, you guys, in February, that'll be 30 years that I've only sold Mary Kay, so I do know what I'm talking about. Um, and so that, that day that I uh, became a sales director, quit my job, I just kind of went out on faith. Really, I did. And so um, after that, I would say another proud moment is the middle card that you can win in Mary Kay. It's called the Premier Club level. And today, the Premier Club level is a Chevy Equinox, um, a Ford Fusion. They even have a Mini Cooper. And uh, with black, with pink stripes on it. Oh, my goodness, it's so beautiful. Or a... Um, a Chevy Traverse, and that's like the middle. It's like you're, you know, the right before you get to the pink Cadillac. And so when I won that, I thought, wow. And um, we had this. There's a thing called the Unit Circle of um, Achievement, where you get to go on stage and you get a diamond bar pin. And so that was a big deal. My unit had grown to about a hundred, um, about seventy-five unit members. And so then my goal though was to drive a pink Cadillac. I know y'all heard of the pink Cadillacs. You may not have heard the other cars, but the pink Cadillacs are real famous in Mary Kay. And so I wanted to find a drive a pink Cadillac before I was 30 years old. And so right before the 30th birthday, I qualified and by the time it came in I was 30 years old and I um, had that beautiful pink Cadillac and it was the longest pinkest boat you've ever seen. I mean, like to back that thing up, it was like, it really was like backing up a pink boat. <laughs> it was huge. And I loved it. I loved it. Some people thought it was like a grandma car. I'm like, not when you're 20 or 30, you know, it was amazing. It was amazing. And so to get that pink Cadillac in, uh, one of my best friends, Deborah Bishop, she's the director. We won it the same time and we picked them up on the same day right here in Valdosta, Georgia. And it was awesome awesome and the looks you got with the pink Cadillac I mean good night that was, it was just just amazing and then in Mary Kay not only are you making 50% on your sales but you also make you know a commission on your team so you make four to thirteen percent on anybody that you sign up that sells Mary Kay and then you get bonuses on those team members when they come in with like what they call a qualified order um, well as a sales director you get all that and then they give you another commission on your whole entire unit and so um, I was making way more than my full-time job um, so when I quit. So, I mean, I didn't miss a beat as far as income. As a matter of fact, there's no way that company could pay me what I'm making right now. There's just no way. Um, so I went ahead and I thought, you know, I want to win the pink Cadillac. But in Mary Kay, the cool thing is there's always something else to reach for. And so I thought the next step is what they call the half million dollar club. And the half million dollar club is when your unit sells over half million dollars in sales. And so I thought, all right, I'm going for that. Well, then they give you these diamond rings. And if you are on my video, you can see them. This was my very first diamond ring right here. And then these are some of the other ones that I won and these that I have on my hand. And I just love them. You know what? Literally, when I joined Mary Kay, I had one little tiny earring and one little necklace and one little turquoise ring. I had no jewelry. I could have a jewelry store right now. <laughs> and so the rewards just get better and better. And then I won a top director trip, you guys. Um, 
to China, Beijing, China. It was the 50th year of Mary Kay. And I won the top director trip and got to go. And at the time I went through a divorce and, you know, everybody has heartaches in their life, right? And I, I had my share of a divorce, I've had health problems, had half my lung removed. I mean, just things that everybody has a list. I'm sure you could tell me. But somehow, you know, I did not quit. And I stayed the course. And so we won the top director trip. My unit, we did 700,000 in unit sales. And I was able to go with all the sales directors to China and celebrate with Mary Kay at their 50th, uh, 50th year celebration in China. Got to climb the Great Wall of China. I mean, I, had, I hardly had any idea where China was. I just knew that, like, if you, my mom used to say, if you quit dig it if you don't quit digging you're going to dig to china that's because it's on the other side of the world so i mean the way they treat us they pay for everything like your your of course your flight your hotel or your food even spending money it was amazing for a whole week and so you guys the next year i decided i had been single for a little bit and i i found this great guy and i thought i didn't have a lot of time to plan a big wedding or anything like that so guess what i did i had a surprise wedding at my mary Kay meeting Yep, I got married after the Mary Kay meeting, nobody knew, and our honeymoon was the top director trip to Maui. And so that was um, four and a half years ago, we're going on five years with Mary Kay, and since then we've won trips to London and to Rome and Alaska. We're in two weeks, we're heading to Argentina for a week, and then the next year in September, which will be our fifth year anniversary, it's back in Hawaii. And so why am I telling you all this stuff? Not to say, woo, Cleta, you're so awesome, no. I'm, I want you to remember when I joined Mary Kay, I was, I tried it at 22 years old. I was making $4 and five cents an hour. That's where I came from. And today I do make over six figure every single year and um, have a, you know, wonderful home and um, I can always make more money and I still love selling this product. But I'll tell you what, the thing that has gotten me on this is not just the money, you know, you've got the tax advantages because you're self-employed, but the people, you guys, the company is so solid. We're on our 55th anniversary this year, this week, as a matter of fact, it's like we're having these big celebrations in Mary Kay, that you won't find a better group of people in the staff of Mary Kay Corporate and then in your sales directors and your recruiters. you got people that will help you. So when you join, they don't just throw you out there and don't care about you. They really care. And they really are there to help you and to guide you and to mentor you to run your own successful business. And the product has evolved to be one of the best selling products in the, uh, in the world. We're in 40 countries, you guys, 40 countries. Our distribution, our manufacturing plant, they're building a um, huge manufacturing plant in North Dallas, another one. And, um, you know, millions of dollars. And so we are here to stay. The company is just getting better and better. The products are getting better and better and all of us in Mary Kay are looking younger and younger, <laughs> younger and younger. And so I just would like to invite you to think about this. So to get in Mary Kay, it's the same thing as I did. You have to buy a little starter kit that gives you everything you need to get going and do your parties and your facials. You make 50% of what you sell. So you may come in and go, you know what? I don't, I don't really need that much money, but I'd like to have a few girlfriends. And I had this one friend of mine, she goes, I'm just kind of bored. I said, well, this will make you wish you won't be bored. And you'll have a lot of fun, a lot more friends. And so you could sell some products, make 50% of what you sell. Average party now is about 400. Um, you know, I've had $1,600 parties as well. And, um, but let's say you just had a couple of parties a week at $400 each. And then you could profit 400 bucks a, um, a week just selling. And then if you start adding to your team, there's huge bonuses for um, adding uh, team members, like people that eat facial that say, hey, I want to do this, that you can make even more money than you might be like me and say, I want to become a sales director. I want to win a car. I, man, you know what? I think I just want to go on those top director trips with you. In fact, I'd like to pass you and become a national sales director. And you can do that too. And so, but it all starts with just buying your little kit. And, you know, we will go from there to get you going. And I would just tell you that in 33 years, I've had a, opportunities to do a lot of other things, but this is what I wanted to do. And this is, um, I've not found the, the flaw in the business. And I don't think you will either. So I would just like to invite you to join. All you'll need to do is let your consultant know that you would like to join and she'll need your email address and your phone number, of course, and then she'll send you a little link to order your kit.
And then after that, we'll get you set up with some training and some business planning. And you never know, you could be the next pink Cadillac driver on your street or in your city. And there's plenty of cars for everybody. <laughs> and so I want to thank you all for listening today. And um, just make sure you text your consultant or call her when you're done to let her know that you watched this and what you thought about it and give her a number between one and 10. One is I'm not interested and 10 is sign me up. I'm ready. And you can't say five. That's a chicken answer. Okay. And so I'm going to